Why, hello and welcome back to The Restaurant Show. I am here at Vince's Pizzeria and Ristorante in Beloit, Wisconsin, and I'm having a lovely time here with the fabulous Piera and Fabrizio. Thank you so Hi. much for having me in your restaurant. Hi. Thank you. Hi. I have to say, it's uh, the weather outside is a little weird. It's been cold and warm and all kinds of crazy stuff. It doesn't matter. When you come in here, it's so warm, it's so cozy. <laughs> you feel like you're part of the family, so I just want to share that. I always feel like that when I come here, and I'm sure that Aww. your customers do too. So. It's really thank kind you. of old-fashioned in that sense, so thank yes. you. Yeah, absolutely. So we have so many fun things that we're going to get to try. I can't wait because I came with an appetite, so I'm excited. So, um, so Piera, tell me what's in front of me, and then Fabrizio, in a minute, if you could tell us what you're doing there, that would be great. I'm going to start cooking the pasta romantica. Pasta romantica. Yep. It sounds perfect. You know, Valentine's Day is right around the corner, so oh, why don't right. you know, have some romantic yep, pasta, yep, right? Yep, yep. Exactly. So what does that mean? What's all, what does that mean for us? It's um, come with some uh, grilled chicken, okay. mushroom, fresh tomato, light red sauce, and um, basil, garlic. Mm -hmm. Very good, fresh, um, tasty pasta. Mm -hmm. And is it this? Is this basil right in front of us right here? Yes, yes. it is. Beautiful. Basil so those seem to be kind of some of the classic staples to be in, in a lot of Italian cooking that I've learned is your basil, your garlic. I mean, you oh, really yeah. can't. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Is that Especially much in own? our area. That's, we that's come from Marsala, you know, okay. from Sicily, and that's, I think every dish has that, either garlic or basil or parsley. <laughs> Pars so. garlic, 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 basil, parsley, mm -hmm. Sicily. Okay, we'll keep those things in mind for those right. of us that are still <laughs> learning a little bit about Italian culture and Italian food. Speaking of, we're going to dive into this food shortly, but I wanted to just speak to the restaurant and the history itself. If you've been to Vince's, like I said, it's super cozy right here in Beloit, run by family, been run by family since the beginning. And right here on the front of their beautiful menu, which by the way, covers so many things, there's a cute little story here about the family. So I'll just read it to you quickly. Vince, <coughs> Vince, daddy, yes, <laughs> began making pizza in 1964 in Streeter, Illinois, and continued to do so for 20 years until he moved to Beloit, Wisconsin. He opened Vince's Pizzeria and Ristorante, which is now owned and operated by his daughter and son-in-law who continue his legacy in pizza. Family owned since 1984. So that's just really impressive and really nice. And I just want to say how much I appreciate that. I'm sure your customers do. Those of you out there who haven't been here to Vince's yet and you appreciate those kind of values, family run, please give them a try. Now, speaking of trying, let's, let's move on to what we have in front of us. This, I see, is the classic. Yes, the classic spaghetti and meatballs. I mean, it's probably one of the most popular dish in our restaurant. Is it and the most popular? That's good I, to know. Yes, and it's on special on Mondays also. Ooh, so I'm coming. Too. Yes, and yeah, you can get it right now you have in the meatballs, but mm -hmm. you can get it with the choice of um, Italian sausage or our meat sauce. Okay. And yeah, I mean, who can go wrong with spaghetti? We do have masacholi if you're not into spaghetti. And are those the tube noodles, the masacholi? Yes, okay. the tube noodles. Yep. I love how like the noodles all have their special shape. Like I was in the store with my daughter just the other day and she's like, mom, those noodles look like bow ties. I was like, yep, they are. But many of them have the Italian word for them as well as the bow tie. Did the bow tie have an Italian description or is it just bow tie? God, I would have to ask him. Yeah. Can we try to stump you? Yeah, yeah, what, uh, um, bow tie pasta. Como se llama en italiano? Uh, farfalle. Mm. Farfalle. And that's me that actually means butterflies. Oh. So that's yeah. <laughs> and it, right, and here in America it's bow ties, but yeah. I love yeah. that. So yeah, there is there's like a picture. This is wonderful by the way. I'm sure there's a secret recipe in the meatballs because I find that that's often the case yes. with meatballs. We make those here. So. Everything's made here, right? Yes. Yeah. That's absolutely fantastic. And you know, like you said, you can't really go wrong with the spaghetti and meatballs, but you can go really right and have it be strong sauces really fresh and flavorful meatballs that have a little bit of spice to them but not in a way that like a kid couldn't eat it right right, right. absolutely great topped with a little bit of basil there absolutely beautiful tell me about this now i kind of went in reverse this is an appetizer um, yep. that many folks will recognize as bruschetta but this is called from where you're from is uh, Mata Rocca. yes yeah? right. yes yep. what is this made of now in here well, that's basically this. our tomatoes our basil our fresh garlic and olive oil beautiful and, and this is so something good. that's fun because you can have this as an appetizer and like share at a table with folks and everyone can kind of snack and talk. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, here you're getting a bunch of tomatoes. You know, you're eating a salad, right? <laughs> Basically, <laughs> yes. So, so this and is something I think bread. folks are going um, to, the, on the garlic bread, they're going to find as a mainstay in Italian restaurants. But again, we have a specialty because of where you're from in Sicily, it's Mataroca instead. Yes. So in case anyone wants to know the difference. Yeah. And we have our pasta Mataroco, but we call it Angela Spaghetti. Mm. And that's basically, 
the tomatoes, basil, garlic, the same ingredients, but it's mixed with um, with the spaghetti doodles. Oh, so cool. it's a little bit lighter version, yeah. but it's really delicious. Yeah, a little more, yeah, I think I've had something like that, and I do like that. It's more of a lighter for you, so you yes. don't feel like you're weighted down by so much stuff. In right, the belly. right. Okay, well, this is fantastic. And I want to check in here with Fabrizio and find out what's happening. Yep, show coming us what you've been doing. a couple minutes. So we started with onion. Um, mm -hmm. Onions, mushroom. Oil. Then uh, uh, we got tomato, light red sauce. I'm going to put uh, some chicken right now. Mm. One uh, I already grilled a few minutes ago. Okay. And then we can set up with the basil garlic. I love this move with the thing. Right? I mean, honestly, I try to do this at home. I would not suggest doing this at home unless you like no. this guy, because like it's not, I've done it. And I'll, it's not, it comes all over the place. My children laugh at me like it's not a good scene. So, no, it's fun. Same here. I've been this one's really good here all my oh, life sorry. and I still can't. Oh, really? They don't do let it? you back there and do no, that. Anymore. I can't. <laughs> I, mine just, whoop, and it just goes. Oh, I'm so excited for this. And what's nice about this dish is it traditionally comes with chicken or is it an option of different kinds of meat? No, it, um, traditional is just chicken. Okay. But I mean, if you like to replace it with shrimp, oh, um, okay. we could do that shrimp also. Shrimp is another so. option. Mm hmm. There's something, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig in on this in a second. I'm so excited. He just does such a beautiful thing to watch this, this cooking that Fabrizio does. It's all right. Straight from the heart, <laughs> straight from Sicily. I mean, and all the ingredients are right there in front, so it's easy to see. Oh, it's right. so beautiful. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. Before I start to dig in on this, if you could give us a, a flavor of what exactly this is on the plate, just for folks that maybe are interested in something a little more traditionally American, maybe, or uh, tell me what Right. You well, uh, it's our steak sandwich. Mm -hmm. It's our ribeye. It's a six ounce ribeye. Okay. And we grill that. And we served it here with like the lettuce, tomato, mozzarella cheese, mm. mayonnaise. That's how I prefer it. Mm -hmm. Or a lot of people, like my husband, like it with the grilled veggies. Mm. Or, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Yeah. you they can get it both ways. Beautiful. Well, I'm going to take plate. a big bite of this. It's steaming hot, delicious, smells so great. Again, Piera Fabrizio. This is the Vince's in Beloit. This is the restaurant show, and you need to come and eat this.